detectives. Officer Ridley, we're gonna need you to come down to the precinct with us. I know what this is about. I won the policeman's raffle, right? So, let's do it. I'm gonna need your weapon, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. So how goes the psychological warfare? It's working. On us, at least. How long has it been in there? 45 minutes. He acts as if he's looking at a Van Gogh exhibit. He's ready. <clears throat> That's some nice police work. Only took you 31 years. Can you believe not one of those morons in Vice ever picked up on it? The irony is, I almost had it out of my system. The need to cleanse? I even let one get away last year. Yeah, after she nailed you in the gonads. That night, I had a cold. Almost didn't go out. Glad I did, though. She was a particularly rancid piece of meat. $20 a pop. Of course, those were $1979. And this little junkie whore <laughs> weighed about 80 pounds. I remember pulling the bag so tight it lifted her clear off the ground. I know the drill. But you gave me too much credit. What's that supposed to mean? It's not mine. Its name is Tracy Henderson. Don't jerk us around, Ridley. 18 counts gets you the same lethal injection as 19. You know that. Yes, I know. And that's why I want my record accurately documented. For posterity. You took the FBI seminar on pattern killers, right? M.O. signature? Sure. M.O. is how a perpetrator operates. Signature is what distinguishes him from others with similar M.O.s. He didn't kill Tracy Henderson. Why? Because he says so? Because he's a pattern killer. All his vics were found in remote areas. All of them were placed very carefully into position. He has them holding hands, for God's sake. What about the bag over her head? The crushed skull? I don't know. Coincidence? Copycat? No. First time or impulsive, young. All right. Young. Impulsive. My gut tells me the killer knew Tracy. 